Hey folks, Brian Blessing with you here for ATS.io, always reminding you Adam Burke's podcast weekdays is phenomenal. I join Adam on Tuesdays and we always try to come up with that look ahead moment and angles and trends and things you can pay attention to. To that end, I think we found something. The question is how long will it ask? And it's a question you have to ask yourself, but it's the way you want to play the game. Try to identify something that works for you, but also at the same time, know that it will end at some point. And the question is, when do you get off the trend? And this topic revolves around this group, the Utah Jazz having such an incredible season. And the analogy would be a bunch of years ago, we determined teams that played Pittsburgh in the NFL got beat up so badly that the following week, those teams that had played Pittsburgh, you fade them the following week. They had nothing left in the tank, and it worked. And then about two years after that run, Seattle in their prime, the Seahawks were doing the same things to teams. Well, Utah had this ridiculous winning streak. They're having an incredible season this year. So about 10 days ago, we're sitting going, hey, wait a minute. If Utah is stepping on everybody's neck, might the opponent that loses to them in their next game, would it be a breath of fresh air? And maybe we find an angle. It was a topic we brought up. We've been paying attention to it. So since we thought about it, here's what's happened. Philly lost 134-123 to Utah, then beat Houston 118-113. Charlotte lost 132-110, lose by 22, and then beat Portland 124-121 as a 10-point dog. The Lakers lost 114-89, then they beat Portland 102-93. So there was another one, the next one, four in a row. Orlando loses 124-109, and they get the backdoor cover by a point in their next game against New Orleans. So the teams that had lost to the Jazz in the next game, they were winning and they were covering. Um, well, we got one cover in that last game. Everybody else went on and won the next game. Now, there's a new one. New Orleans actually beat the Jazz. Their next game is against Chicago. Whether the same premise would hold true, they're feeling their oats, they beat the Jazz, and they keep the momentum going against a team like Chicago, so be it. But I would look for the next while, the teams that play the Jazz, and if the Jazz stomp on them, play the team that loses to the Jazz in their next game and, be, and take the points. Or if they're a favorite, go ahead and lay the wood with them because so far it's working. Now, at some point, you know, if the Jazz taper off and they get a little fat and happy and a little cushy here in the back third, maybe the steam will come out of this angle. The point is, it's the way you want to play the game. You want to try to get on top of a trend early, ride it while you can, and before the odds makers would make adjustments that eventually they would catch up with. It's a unique one. It's relatively new during this streak. Something we found, something we're paying attention to, something we're riding, and it's reaping rewards as of this moment utilize the same premise. I don't know if it's outside the box thinking, but utilize that same premise. If you spot a team uh, and you spot an opportunity or boy, a team's playing really good. And the next game, a team maybe was embarrassed by a team say, but the next game should be a cupcake for them. Find that new trend, pay attention for stuff like this and get on board and find your own trend, something that'll work for you early. And it has some legs. Let's see if it keeps going playing those teams that lose to the Jazz in their next outing. Fun to be with you. Always trying to read between the lines for you right here at ATS.io. I'm Brian Blessing in Las Vegas.